Everybody has a story, but not every story gets the chance to be heard. Hi, my name is Bobby Bowling. Welcome to In Your Own Words. I want to take you on a journey, a journey throughout our community, sharing the stories of everyday people who are making a difference in others' lives. Now this first story, I want to introduce you to a little girl who lives her life bringing joy to the world, who lives her life cheering for people, for all people. This story captures a moment where this little girl impacted a person who was desperate for hope. You'll see us with rain and smiles. I looked down at Sophina and I said, you want to do something fun? And she said, yes. And I said, how about we wave at the people going by? And she's like, yeah, let's do it. I love it. I seem to cut them along. Before she was born, God gave me a verse. It was the verses that talk about how God is going to teach um, from the simple, and he's going to use the simple to teach the wise. What is your favorite part? Uh, my mom, of course. Your mom? Yes. Waving with your mom? Yeah, I love her. Seeing, you know, the change in people that were passing by. It was just the pure delight of making someone smile. And uh, she kept on begging me, can we do this again tomorrow? Can we do this again tomorrow? Even when we're having a hard day, to look out and see other hurting people and try to do something that would bring them joy because it always happens where you get just as much joy, if not more, by making somebody else happy. Sophina hadn't come into my life that day. I don't know if I would even be here. Before I left Camp Ripley, I got a message from one of his friends on Messenger, and she was like, hey, have you heard from court in a while? We heard that an aircraft went down. I had called the facility, and we can't tell you who's on there. And I'm like, you need to tell me. Was that the aircraft he was on? And then they said yes. My mom, I call her, and I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, your dad, he got in a crash. He died. That was the day we lost my two best friends. It was a funeral and a group of us went to Granite City and all of a sudden, Sophina just walks over. She had a, like a little tray of cookies and she was like, do you guys want some? And I was just like kind of moved, you know? She like really spoke to me and at that point, like I really didn't feel a purpose. I just kind of kept asking God, like, why me, you know? Sophina hadn't come into my life that day. I don't know if I would even be here. 